Well, hello, um, I'm Jeff Allen, and uh, I wanted to talk about my shade that I have for my uh, plein air box. Um, this is mainly for watercolor, so, but I think it could work for oil too. Um, my box is kind of large and I made it for half sheets. And so like I cut this uh, material out so it would, it would all go to this. And I think we all have different uh, setups. And so everything you're gonna have to make is gonna be custom most likely to your, to your setup. Now, um, it's preferable to always set up when you're in plain air under shade, but a lot of times that doesn't happen. And I, I feel like part of the whole idea of plain air is sort of reacting to our the environment, our scene, and reacting to the sun. And I think that's why it's really important that um, all the gear is able to do that too. And um, I use a lot of Velcro, and I'll go through the materials in just a second, but I just kind of wanted to say the why and where this came from. Um, you know, this, this initial idea of using this uh, corrugated plastic, it's like a sign material. Like if you see politicians sign the mayor, you know, mayor's running, someone's running for mayor, it's usually on this kind of material. And there's like spaces in it, it's semi-transparent. Um, it's a little flimsy, but it's very light. So it's a great material for just this purpose. Um, but I was taking a Joseph Zabukovic uh, workshop and he was using it and it worked great and you know and he said oh i just picked it up somewhere so i really like that uh idea of like recycling and it's something that's cheap and easy to use and it doesn't weigh a lot um the one thing is he didn't have a really good way of of holding it up and um so uh that's that was my addition to this and it was making these lid stays uh to hold this up and it really takes a pretty good wind um, I think like I've been in 12, you know, maybe 15 mile an hour gusts and it sort of survived, but if it's, this might stay put, but the whole thing comes down. Um, but it's really pretty good. Um, and it's, it, it does move around. It's a little bit flimsy, but I think I've become used to that. So it doesn't bother me. So when I started plein air painting initially, like I did oil and one thing that, um, I sort of liked about this, this is an open M, uh, uh, open uh, box M. And um, if I can tighten these, this, but you can see how, you know, this is all adjustable so that you can actually even see, you know, potentially this under the same light. Your palette is under the same light as your, um, your artwork. And so when you're mixing paint, you're not mixing it in shade and then putting it in sun and going, oh, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. You know, it's everything is the same. And so that was the idea that I was trying to do both with my palette and my artwork. So, um, uh, another thing that I, I find that if um, I'm painting under direct light that I, my values are a little off, I tend to make my lights a little bit too dark and then everything ends up reacting to that initial, you know, initial wash, um, because I'm taking care of my lights first, um, everything gets a little bit too dark to, 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 to compensate or, uh, for that initial darkness. So, um, uh, <clears throat> like I find that sometimes too, maybe another thing about that's not great about this is if my subject over there and the sun's here, like I'll turn towards the sun that way, um, everything stays in, in shadow. And I, I've gotten used to that. And sometimes I think you, you can focus more on your painting and not necessarily uh, reproducing the scene. So I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. Um, and sometimes I've started looking at, you know, when I'm drawing, I'll maybe I'll be facing it so I get the drawing right. Um, and then I turn. So, you know, again, like flexibility. Um, so let's go through what you need to do this. And as I said before, this is corrugated plastic. I usually buy it in a sheet. This is like a 30 by 40 sheet. And I think I cut this down and this is for like a, a full sheet, um, you know, do, doing a full sheet. But um, you'll need some uh, duct tape. And it's all stuff that you probably have anyhow. Well, this, this is sort of an expense. This was like $25. 
bought it at a Home Depot. And as you know, as most of you know, it's like there's a soft side and a coarse side of this Velcro. This is sticky back Velcro. So definitely don't try and use another, you know, uh, some other glue uh, to do this. I think this stuff is, is pretty good the way it is. And I think it would just add to expense and mess. So I think this is, this is the way to go. Um, now, another thing you're gonna need as far as these stays, I used eighth inch plywood. Um, this is a strip of a gator, a gator board is what it's called. And it's a little bit more structural. I found that this, act, this material, the corrugated, uh, this is the actual material here. It's just a little bit too flimsy to be the stays for your, um, uh, the lid stays. So I'm calling this the lid or the shade and I'm calling this a lid stay. Um, but it's a little bit too flimsy. So um, if you can find something that's a little bit more rigid, I, like I've made these several times when I used uh, this material because it just kind of breaks down because this takes all the stress and it has to bend and so, but as soon as I made it, these wood strips, it's like problem solved. They're a little bit heavier uh, than this stuff, but I think it's worth the, that little bit of weight. So, um, so you need a straight edge um, and a, a knife just to cut these form shapes out, you know, and do it on something that you're not gonna mar, like don't do it on your nice table. Um, I usually have scissors to cut up, you know, this stuff. And, you know, really that, that's about it. Um, so I cut this to the size of my work area. And um, let me just move this painting. Um, so it fits right onto this. And if I, uh, if I wanna transport my work and it's not dry, I just put this onto it. So, uh, you know, the important thing that I want, really wanna tell you, like all this is, e this stuff is easy, like cutting the strip, cutting this out, um, you know, hinging it with this duct tape. And I did it on both sides, so it goes in both ways. And once you do this, this is plenty good for, I mean, this will last for years of constant use. <clears throat> so it's not necessarily to do anything more um, slicker or, or good looking than this. Uh, the duct tape just, just works. Um, but the important thing about me showing you is this is to tell you where I put uh, the Velcro. So on the back here, on, once I put this together, and um, just to back up one sec, it's like, why did I hinge it? Why couldn't I have a solid piece here? Well, if I did a solid piece, it would just be boom, right there. But I find that in, um, you know, I wanna react to the sun and sometimes I want it low and sometimes I want it really high like this. And this hinge allows me to, to do that. Now for you, like some of you have, uh, you know, in plain air pro or something like that. And so it could be like your, your thing here it might be longer, you know, just so you can come all the way back and hook up to the back of your uh, stand. So don't go by my measurements, go by what, you know, you need to make this work. So maybe, maybe it'll be, you know, this thick, you know, come in like this and you'll have like a, a shorter shade, shade here, who knows? But um, definitely I have a big band of soft Velcro going across this whole thing on the top here. And that's, and here I have little pieces. Now, I didn't want this to be so hard to take off that I was like ripping this thing up. And so when you start to use smaller pieces, it's easier to deattach. So that's why I did that. So full piece here, you know, I did not cut it and the, but these are cut and they're smaller. Okay, so um, so that's that part. So, and now these are the, the lid stays. Now I have this, uh, I can set this up horizontally or I can set this up vertically. And so right now we're in the horizontal and I have on the side here, I have, oh, let me, I, I forgot one thing. I have coarse right here on these edges and that's for these lid stays. And what I did, I took a full piece 
and I just bent it around. So it's just right on the edge and it works great. It hasn't come up at all. I haven't had any problem of this uh, lifting up. So now on these, I have soft and I actually wrapped the soft around on this. It's like one solid piece. So if, if you can see, it starts here and I just wrapped it all the way around and I put another piece here. And just for the convenience of not worrying about one side or another, I did sort of the same thing on this back side. But you'll see on the bottom here, or maybe it's hard to see, but I have coarse and I wrapped, this is coarse, I wrapped it around. And I used this when I flipped this stand vertically. And I'll do that in just a second. So just to recap, most of what's on here is the soft stuff and it's gonna to attach to the edge of here, to the course, and there's course along the side of the box. And so, so I might, I'll just go from this because this is, has the, the, the most of this soft stuff. So I'll just hook it here and hook it there. Boom, done. And so it's really pretty easy once you figure out which side is which, it's like you just slap it on and you're, you're basically done. Okay, so um, now I just want to talk about this. This is sort of my uh, palette shade, and it's the same kind of thing. I have um, uh, duct tape that hinges it. And why is it hinged? Well, um, I wanted to, you know, I think it makes it easier to carry, and it fits in my pack better because it folds up. And I have... Uh, Velcro, soft Velcro on this edge here. And I have coarse right on the back side of my easel. And so it, it will attach to that here, there. And I actually put some Velcro on my tripod um, on, the, on the legs. And so it, it sort of can attach there. But once I put, whoops, <laughs> that didn't look too good. Once I attach this to the back here and put this down, it pretty much stays. And so even if wind is hitting this, it's, it's, it, doesn't do, it doesn't really move. Um, so um, again, like if sunlight was hitting this, I think, uh, and too in watercolor, you're always worried about, you know, keeping all this stuff moist. And um, I, I think it dries out a little faster if, it's, if the direct sun is hitting it. And again, like I wanna be able to see my colors in the same light that's hitting this with the same light here. Uh, so to recap, I think the most important thing is to remember from this is where I put the Velcro along the edge, coarse, coarse, and then soft on these. And let me quickly just go ahead and, um, so I have soft up along this side. So if I want to switch to a, you know, like a vertical um, format when I'm painting. Now, I think I remember I said something about I had coarse wrapped around the end here. Well, that sticks into, I could just stick it right into um, this, this, the soft stuff here. And usually what I do, because um, my box sits on this side, so I don't have Velcro on this side, I double up on this one side but I haven't had much trouble. I think it's, it's not gonna take wind as well, but um, it, it definitely works. So um, again, I think uh, uh, the basics is that uh, using Velcro makes this adjustable and we can kind of go with the flow in terms of where the sun is. So I hope that answers most of your questions. And if, if not, you know, please give me a DM on Instagram and that's Jeff Allen Art. Um, at Jeff Allen Art, and that's G-E-O-F-F-A-L-L-E-N Art. And you can also Facebook as well. Okay, thanks.